Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Do you know how to plot a visual if you would like to track your destinations or your routes of any kinds of transportation you are doing? Well, if you don't know, then there is a visual to do that and that is flow map visual. However, there are certain constraints with the flow map visual. And what are the alternatives for a flow map visual? Well, if you would like to know, you have to stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. Hi there, my name is Ajay Kumar and you are watching me on BI Consulting Pro. In this video, I'm going to let you know about the flow map visual. It's not a complete video. That means I'm going to do half of the work for you and half of the work you have to let me know how to solve that one. That means there is a challenge in this video. However, before we proceed further, you know what to do. If you are over here for the very first time, please subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon, share this video with your friends and colleagues and join our channel to support us. Now, enough all the talking, let's proceed. Microsoft Power BI doesn't have a visual by default that we can use it for the flow map. Yes, there is ArcGIS that can be used as an alternative, but there's a lot of work to do and still you cannot get the same kind of visualization that you would like to know. So what you have to do? Well, as you can see on my screen, you have to come over here. You have to go to get more visuals, but for that you have to sign in as well. Right now you can see that it cannot recognize my sign in. So you have to sign in, then it's going to take you over there. Now, as I have signed in, it's going to take you to Microsoft App Source Gallery over here. You can simply go for map visual. Type over here flow map and then you are going to get this visual. So this is the visual that you can really use. And I'm going to also show you very quickly that how you can use this one. There are lots of information about that. The only thing that is missing that it's not certified by Microsoft and I won't recommend you to use any visual which is not certified by Microsoft. So here's one task for you. Please go to this visual over there. You have to comment it out that make it Microsoft certified. That is essential to use for any organization if you would like to stay secure and if you want to get the optimal performance from a visualization point of view. So please put comment over there and then maybe the author of this visualization can consider it to get certified by Microsoft and I'm sure they are already doing that. But this visual is very important for most of the organization. Author of this visual is over here. So you can comment and you can ask him to make it certified. But let's get out of this one. I have already this visualization over here. So what I can do simply I come over here. I'm going to select this visualization. You can expand this and then you just need to drop over here the different fields. For example, origin. Origin would be your source. Then it's going to ask you for the destination. Destination should be in your data set itself. Then width, width or color can be selected by you. So what I recommend in case of width, I'm going to use my total sales. And that's going to be by default sum of sales. Then origin of latitude, that means your source latitude. Then you are going to have your source longitude over here. And similarly way you can have your destination latitude and longitude. So let me just drop very quickly and here. Now I have all the fields which is going to be drawn over here. But as you can see the by default it's going to take the count of these and I don't want to summarize this one. So what I can do I'll simply click on these separate fields and I'll say hey do not summarize it or you want to take it average just like the average over here. So you have to find out what is going to be the best aggregation option that you need to apply for your latitude, longitude, etc. And over here, it's still going to show you the count. So same here. Let's go over here. And you can select over here average. And same for this average. If you want to change the category as well, you can change. So what I'll say, okay, this is the longitude. So please select longitude. Same, you have to go over here. Please select latitude. Then you have to go here. Longitude. And then latitude. That's really important, guys. So you have to select it over here. Once you will do, you are going to see 
something like this which is going to appear on your screen you can customize it this is just a way to create your flow map visual over there now the challenge is how to use it without using flow map visual or the custom visual because it's not certified by microsoft so what you can do you can use python code and with the help of python code you can do that however before using python code make sure that you have installed python in your laptop or your machine where you have uh, where you are going to use it then secondly what you have to do you have to go to options and settings go to options under script part you have to also mention one particular path that means you would go in python scripting and this is the path that you have to mention over here which is very important if you don't know how to do that you can interact with chat gpt or any other ai tool that can help you out to do that also you can start watching our python course where we have mention everything very clearly we have taught you over there how to basically you can get started with python how you can use it python for data analyst so in that particular tutorial python for beginners i have clearly shown you how you can get started with python how to install it what are the libraries that you need to install and how you can install all those libraries so what you can do you would come over here which i have created using python there is a script so you can simply drag and drop this python visualization on the screen and over here if i'm going to click you would see over here that this is the code that i'm using but before using this code you have to install certain libraries as well such as pandas matplotlib cartopy etc you may also need to install python and all but once again there is a challenge with this visual you can draw this visual you can see that but it's quite static that means you cannot interact with that and to interact with that you may have to install certain other libraries you have to use your own thoughts that how you can make it iterative how you can make it interactive and that's the challenge for you so guys i'm gonna leave this video over here with a challenge that how you can make a visualization interactive inside microsoft power Bay using python script so please do leave your comment in the comment section once you do that you can also send your file directly to us and i'm gonna show your file over here with your name and i'm gonna make a big shout for you so please do that let me know how to work with it and i'm gonna definitely showcase your work over here at bi consulting pro what do you think about this challenge are you ready for this challenge if yes then start working now i'm gonna share this file link in the description section so that you can check my code you can have a data as well and we are looking forward to hearing from you till then keep learning keep exploring the world of data and don't forget to subscribe this channel join our channel to support us contact us for any training programs or if you're looking for any consultation work till then keep healthy stay happy and i'm gonna see you in the next video